Hello Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So my name is Nurul Afiza binti Abdul Aziz I'm from A4CS1105C So today I will tell you or learn or teach you how to create page update delete and list all the data from table database using php code and html we match it up so let's go so first of all as usual we need to start all the exam and make sure there is no error and just go to php my admin so i already create my database name chocolate so i have three table name chalk customer and menu for chalk i have four attribute which is chalk code for chocolate code chalk name for chocolate name quantity is for quantity the stock that we have the chocolate stock price is price for per per chocolate and we go to customer table have four attribute cast id which is auto increment and also primary key customer name address and quantity also have menu table which is menu id which is auto increment and also primary key for menu table chalk code is foreign key that we get from chalk table cast id that we get from customer description delivery date payment and status so let's look at the ERT Okay, this is my ERT See which is menu is the bridge entity to connect Between chalk table and customer table And is when chalk is one chalk Many menu, one customer, many menu So let's look at the coding this is list the php even though we say uh we started with html but we need to save it dot php because we need to connect to the database okay and then this is the style you can create it just simple and then so we starting with list of order so list of order and then this is the table that we display B which is menu ID, chocolate code, customer name, description, total payment, delivery date and status. And this is the connection. We need to use PHP code instead of HTML because HTML cannot connect to the database. We need to use PHP only. So this is the code to connect to the database database chocolate uh, using php code so when we fetch it so after that we need to echo the data so it will become like this so when we want to call to open this page we need to use localhost slash chocolate id your database name and slash uh, listed php is your page name so this is list of order this is the name and this is the delete button so when we go back to here we go this is update one the page b m equal to cast id which is when we click the name the name of use the name of customer so we will display the customer detail slide this 
and we go to Mufit Sharkowi display display Mufit Sharkowi so when we go to oh update eh of course what the delete button so when we click on delete button and we go to delete the PHP also we need to send cast IT and then we go to delete the PHP this is we need to create it the base uh, in different page so this is the connection to database and we need to get M M is from here this that we call it M equal to cast ID so we get it so when we click the button delete and we delete all the data so we go to update so this is update record record so we go to Mufit Sharkowi look at this is Mufit Sharkowi the order details then this is all the style and all the details okay we use method post because we need to update and we need to update the data so we need to use post method so first as usual we need to connect to the database and the most important thing we need to get the m from the list of php so that you not have when we click on uh, Mufi Sharkowi then we open up the Wahida or anything else name so we need to get M so that when we click on uh, Mufi Sharkowi so we display Muf also Mufi Sharkowi so this is we fetch the data and then this is the table for the to display and then drop down this is date and this is status we have four status at the by default is pending in progress receive and sending so this is button for update and back button update we use submit back we use return so if i set post we use post method in the beginning of code and then when it click back which is name written so we go back to the list of php like this so we have nothing to change so we go back so and we cut we go to list of php and then when we when we click on update button which is name submit so we update the date and the status also we go to the list of php but also update the data like this we go to Ira melissa okay let's say she want to change the delivery date to 17 november and we in progress so we update so this is 17 november and in progress so let's take a look at the database the is it I mean so this is the Ira Melissa 17 November and the status is in progress so after that when if if the data already received like show you the example and it's already received we update it and we want to delete the receive uh, who customer that receive our order and we delete so boom there's no wahida anymore there's no data wait so let's refresh so it's only have two data here and the data that we delete already gone already be deleted so that's all that i have done which is update delete and list of the data from the database using php code okay thank you thanks for watching